What is going on you beautiful people? It is camping season and I want to talk to you guys about my favorite camping gear that I'm going to be taking out this camping season in 2024. Some of this gear you've seen me use in the past, some of it's a little new, but this is my favorite camp gear I'm taking with me this year. The first thing I changed for 2024 is I'm adding a grill to my setup. Almost knocked it off. So this is a grill I got from Walmart, bought it with my own money, not affiliated at all. It's an Ozark Trail grill, hooks up to my propane tank right up here. Pretty sweet setup. When you're out camping, nothing is tastier than a cheeseburger cooked on the grill. You can take like a cast iron pan and cook it over the fire, or you can get one of those grill grates for a fire, but it does not hit the same as a propane grill. Now I'm able to do cheeseburgers, chicken, you name it. In the past, when I would go out camping, I would just have a two burner stove and anything I would cook on there would have to be cooked in my cast iron pan or my pots. So I wasn't able to really grill like I like to do when it's nice out. So now I can actually grill burgers and stuff when I'm out camping. I'm a big fan of this thing. It's sick. Not to mention this grill part comes out right here and it comes with a griddle. So now I can cook pancakes and stuff on the griddle part and just swap it out for breakfast and dinner and lunch which is awesome. I'm a big fan of this. The reason why I haven't had one of these in the past is because the truck was designed to live out of. So I had a bunch of stuff to you know, live out of the truck, but now in 2024, the truck is gonna be used as camping for about a week at a time rather than seven month journey. So I can take a little bit more fun stuff. I'm really excited to take this out on the beach, throw some burgers on it. It's gonna be awesome. I can't explain to you guys how much I like this little guy. I think it was like $110. I've already used it like four times, I think. I haven't even taken out camping. I've been using it as the grill at my new house because I don't have a grill yet. Another piece of camp gear that's gonna be coming with me in 2024 is this five pound propane tank. I can't explain to you how much this is more efficient than those little green bottles. Not to mention those little green bottles are basically trash once you get rid of them. So it cost me about $5 to fill up this propane tank last time I've done it. And I've only had to fill it up once since I originally got this tank. So it's really efficient compared to those green bottles. The green bottles just run full open until they're out of gas. And sometimes they even leave a little bit of gas in those tanks. So they're wasteful as well. This you're not wasting any gas and it's burning a lot more efficient. So lasting longer and you're not producing all that garbage from those little green bottles. So if you're gonna be doing a lot of camping this year, I highly recommend looking into a five pound little propane tank like this. You obviously don't need to mount it on the side of your truck like I did. It's just nice to keep it out of the way and keep it with me at all times. Cause I always have my other camp grill in my deck system. So whenever I'm feeling a little bit frisky and I wanna throw some food together, I can do that and I don't have to worry about forgetting any of the stuff at home. I'll go ahead and link all this stuff down in the description if I can. I know I got that from Walmart, that grill. So I don't know if I can link that in the description, but I did buy this off Amazon in the mount. And I also bought the attachment right here that hooks up to here and I'm able to hook this up to different types of stove. This hooks directly up to this stove and my other camp stove. So I'll link that down in the description if you are interested. Sticking with the camp kitchen setup, you guys know I love to do my cooking when I'm out camping and you don't really get this size unless you're eating like I do. So we gotta make sure we're eating when we're camping. This right here is all of my other camping utensils that I use for cooking, pots, pans, and everything. It all collapses down real small and fits into a bag like this. Pretty awesome setup and I'm able to put it all in the deck system and keep it out of my face and make sure I don't forget it at home because I always forget stuff. But there is more stuff in the deck system that I can show you that comes with me all the time, even in this season. This right here is a hammock. I have two of these in the truck because I got tired of Ashley stealing my hammock when I set it up. So I ended up getting two of these, but I've never even set up both of them. I always end up only setting up one because I usually connect it to one of these in a tree and I just only ever have another one tree to hook it up to. So I don't know why I have two of them. I thought it was gonna be a good idea, but I haven't used them yet, maybe one day. But these hammocks are pretty comfortable. Nice to just lounge out and hang out when the weather's nice. Just nice to chill out in a hammock they're very cheap as well, so it's actually just worth it, and they're small, so they're not gonna take up too much room. I love these, Ashley loves these. I just wish I would remember to set both of them up so we both could sit in a hammock, and it's just not me setting it up, thinking I'm gonna sit in it, and Ashley just stealing it from me. The next piece of camp gear I have to show you guys is the Overland official setup. You're not going out there, and you're not Overlanding if you don't have one of these. Now, what am I talking about? 
Well, I'm talking about a fridge mounted in the back of your truck. If you don't have one of these, you should just sell your truck or, or your car. You're not an Overlander. I'm just kidding. But all joking aside, and this thing is a game changer, but I'm not trying to sell you anything. I don't really care. I'm just trying to show you guys cool things that I like. And there's a reason why I have it mounted in the back of my truck. And it's not because I hate it. So the reason why we went with a fridge rather than a cooler or a Yeti, well, because this is about $400, a nice Yeti cooler or an expensive cooler is about $300, maybe $500. I know they get really expensive, but, and then you gotta buy ice. I haven't had to buy ice for over a year now. And last time I bought ice, it was about $7 a bag. And when we were down at the beach, I was buying ice all the time and it ended up racking up pretty quickly. So you buy a couple bags of ice if you do a lot of camping, you're gonna be spending a lot of money when you can just go get a fridge like this for about $400 and never have to buy ice again. This fridge here is a dual zone setup. So I'm able to have a little fridge or a little freezer or two freezers or vice versa. You know, you can customize it however you see fit. It's got a control panel here, a USB-C here, have it on a slide out, pretty sick setup. I run it off a battery on the inside of the truck. So if you have a small jackery or something like that, or you can just plug it into the DC port inside of the truck, like the cigarette lighter port, or if you are uh, got a fancy truck and they got an inverter, it can run on that as well. So definitely a 10 out of 10, gonna be running this again all year. I ran it all year last year, had no issues with it. Honestly, get a fridge if you're gonna be doing a lot of camping. I'm kind of rambling at this point, but you know, when I'm talking about this camp gear, it, it, it gets me going, you know, I get a little, get a little antsy. Let's go camping. I think I spit a little bit. Woo! Now I could bore you guys and talk to you about all the stuff that's on the truck that I'm gonna be using this year, but this is the main things I'm gonna be using and some of the stuff I'm changing out. Because the truck is going from being a live in this truck full-time setup to go out and enjoy nature for what it is and don't try to live in it. So maybe a month journey here, a week journey here, but no seven month hauls like I explained earlier. So some of the things I'm changing here is taking stuff. I'm gonna show you a camp chair that we got on Amazon as a little test last year and actually ended up really liking it. So I'm gonna be picking up a chair just like this for myself because it's smaller, it's compact and it takes up less room and it's cheap. So if you break it, you're not gonna be out $200. Let me grab it real quick. As I just mentioned, it is cheap. So it's no surprise that we already broke the zipper on this. Again, we've had this in the truck for about a year now. And it was after our trip to the beach last year when we were camping out on it, where I broke my expensive chair because it got sand in it, that I decided maybe it was time to switch to something a little bit cheaper. And I don't really have to be super comfortable because I'm not gonna be working on the outside of the truck anymore. So I'm gonna try to put this together if I can remember kind of just all snaps together. But when we lived out of the truck, I had to work eight hour shifts. So I kind of wanted a comfortable chair. So I got an expensive one. This one, it's comfortable enough for a camping chair. If I can get it together. I was trying to show you guys how easy it was to put together and I'm kind of failing at that. Kind of failing, just kidding. I think it's uh, going pretty well kind of rocket science put this thing together, huh? Oh, <laughs> I did it wrong. Oh, I'm gonna have to edit so much of this. All right. The chair's set up. Are you happy? <laughs> what kind of YouTuber Overland bro would I be if I didn't test out the chair? So I weigh 220 pounds currently. We've been into the gym a good bit. And you can just lounge in this chair like this. It's actually very comfortable. You got some cup holders here and it's just a nice chill chair. Very easy to put away, very easy to put in the truck. I always leave it in the back of the truck because it doesn't really take much room up and I don't have to forget it. I'm gonna be ordering one of these for myself because it actually is very comfortable and it's just a nice little lounge chair. Just to sit back and relax a little bit. The tent I'm going to be using this year is the Body Armor Rooftop Tent, the mini one, the two person one. I've used this tent for a very long time. I think going on maybe two and a half years now. I've used it when we were living out of the truck for seven months. It's been beaten and it's been abused, but it's still holding up really well. I love this rooftop tent. I think it's the best budget rooftop tent that you can get for your money. Now I got it on Amazon for about, I think $900 back then. I think it's up in price a little bit, about $1,000, but it still does have free shipping. It weighs a lot, so shipping does matter. We did have to change a couple things out on this tent while we owned it. The mattress, we got a new mattress. It just got a little bit thin and uncomfortable, so we swapped that out, and we just got a hold of the company uh, via email, and 
they told us the part number and sent us an invoice and we bought it straight from the company. So getting spare parts was extremely easy. Shout out to uh, Body Armor. They didn't know I was a YouTuber or anything like that. I just messaged them like a normal person would and they did really good for customer service. Then I also did the same thing for the Rainfly. We were camping out in pretty extreme wind. Uh, we like to camp out on the beach and a tropical storm blew in and it was a good like 50 mile an hour wind, maybe 40, maybe 30. It was a, it was, it was a lot of wind. It was enough wind that actually where the Rainfly stakes go into the aluminum, it's warped a good bit and you can tell that they've been working really hard. So because the wind was hitting the rain fly so hard, the top window there that is see-through, stitching around that window started to get thin and leak water in when it was raining really hard. It wouldn't leak in unless you opened the top window, but it would leak down underneath the rain fly and build up around the front like door entrance area and then leak down in by your feet and get the inside of the tent wet. So I ended up getting a new one Again, the parts for it were actually super cheap. I think the Rainfly was like $60 and I used it a ton. It was a good two year haul before it started leaking water. So I can't really expect anything more from this tent. It's been fantastic. Well, rambling aside, this isn't all the camping gear I'm gonna be using this year, but some of the highlights, if I went through all of it, I, as I mentioned before, we would be here all day. I don't wanna be here all day and I'm sure you don't wanna be here all day. So I'm gonna let you get back to your life. Thank you for watching. I hope this video gave you some cool camping ideas. Let me know down in the comments what gear you're taking out this season. If you have anything cool that you added to your setup, I'd love to hear from you guys. Do me a big favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. It means a ton to me. We're on a road to 10,000 subscribers. We're actually almost there. We just hit 5,000. Thank you guys. That means a ton to me. I really appreciate it. You're awesome. Do me a big favor again. I know you've done so much already, but check this video out right here. It's pretty good.